welcome back to the channel. This week we are heading east and this is one of my favourite East London walks. It's along the Regent's Canal, it starts at Hackney Central, goes along the canal and then finishes at Hackney Wick. There are so many great bars, cafes, shops to be visiting along the way. So I'm going to take you with me on my day, expect some of my own recommendations and hopefully you can use this as inspiration to plan your own trip. I'm Harry, I run Tread Out of Time, uh, a London tour company that aims to uncover the hidden histories of London, focusing on music and social history, whilst also promoting creative exploration of London. Anyway, that's enough of me waffling on, let's get out there, I hope you enjoy this video. Right, I'll see you on the road. We began our day by getting the overground to Hackney Central. At Hackney Central there are loads of great breweries, cafes, bars, vintage shops that you can go and explore. However, our plan was to head down to the canal. First, we headed through London Fields. This is a nice little park that is lined by some beautiful houses and a great place to stop and meet up with friends. After passing through London Fields, you will reach Broadway Market. This street is full of independent coffee shops, restaurants, bookshops, antique shops. You name it, you will find something to your interest here. We decided to stop off and grab ourselves an iced coffee to try and cool down a little bit. With coffee in hand, we joined the Regent's Canal towpath. This is one of my favourite canals. It connects London east to west and is a great walk all on its own. We hopped off the canal momentarily at Cambridge Heath Road and found that there were two plant shops right opposite each other. The first one was Plant Warehouse which had an amazing array of different plants and cacti. Across the road you had Flower Warehouse which again you were spoilt for choice. So many great plants are in both of these shops. Armed with some new plants we rejoined the canal towpath. It then takes you down right past Victoria Park otherwise known as the People's Park. First opened to the public in 1845. It's known as the People's Park because it attracted a number of different radicals and revolutionaries who used the park as a place to deliver their speeches from. One such radical was Sylvia Pankhurst and you'll find a fantastic mural outside the Lord Morpeth pub in Bow. She was an avid organiser amongst the working class women of Bow and getting them involved in the suffrage movement. After quenching our thirst in the Lord Morpeth we decided to complete the last leg of our journey along the Hertford Canal right down to Hackney Wick. It takes you out right by Barge East and it was absolutely heaving. Once we were there we'd searched about to try and find somewhere to eat and walked about aimlessly for a bit until we settled on a hot dog. Then the challenge was finding somewhere to sit with it. So we walked around a bit, ate it on a street corner before then heading into Grow. This is a fantastic little bar right on the edge of the River Lee and you can grab a lovely riverside seat, sip a beer, grab some food and it was a perfect way to and a pretty good day. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure you share, rate and subscribe and do all of that fun stuff. It really does help me out and help me grow. If I missed out anything or you have your own recommendations, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to share those. Let's try and get a nice community of recommendations going on below these videos. That would be awesome if that could happen. Anyway, just a quick reminder that Tread Out of Time tours are up and running again head over to treadoutoftime.com to get yourself booked on one of those and hopefully I'll see some of you out on the road in the very near future. Anyway, until next week, make sure that we're staying kind and we're staying free. So I'll see you next week. Have a good week, everyone. See ya.